So I know everybody's talking about GoFest and how wonderful it was. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the wonderful city of Chicago and how awesome it was to me before I even went to GoFest. Gamer Dad here. Um, while I'm waiting for this mischievous raid to start, um, we're going to talk about the wonderful city of Chicago and how awesome it was. So, actually, in Chicago, it's really crazy that I was playing, I was having a blast, but they their Pokestops are just massive. Like they were, there was a there was a lure on each one. Uh, you you didn't have to walk far, uh, didn't have to coordinate raids. You just walk up to a raid, and there were people going in. I noticed was partly due to the fact that people were there for GoFest and there were thousands and thousands of people, but uh, just the fact that you could walk down the block. So I got in Wednesday, Thursday I got in and went to the downtown area and decided to have, you know, lunch, do a couple drinks, walk down the city, see some sights, you know, really, really awesome crowd of people there. Uh, the two places I went into were were phenomenal uh, service was good nobody had an attitude this is what the Pokestops look like now as you can see you can see that there is a lure on everything Pokestops as far as I can see it is ridiculous so I decided that I would just pay for parking all day and then I would go through and play as much as I could since I'm by myself, it was really easy. I could just do what I wanted to do. Didn't have to worry about uh, making sure somebody else was happy. So it was really cool. Um, now with that, I was, I'd say I was down there for probably in the first hour and I caught a mischievous uh, shiny, which is something that I've been looking for. I didn't have one. So I was already super excited about it. It was really, really cool that I had uh, my first GoFest, excuse me, my first Chicago shiny was a mischievous, which is funny because I'm doing a mischievous raid. Um, so with that, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Maybe I'll just stay down here as long as I want. And it wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. It was kind of in the middle. It was nice. The buildings have a nice shade to them. So I walked around and played for a good probably hour and a half and was having a good time doing some uh, small level one raids, even jumped into a few level fives. Didn't have any trouble. Uh, people were obviously there and had a lot of conversations. Uh, people are excited about Pokemon Go. Like they're excited about like CrossFit or uh, any of the other fads that people are addicted to. Like people will just love the fact that you're playing Pokemon Go. So let's see this mischievous. Oh. Not gonna be a good catch, but I'm gonna find out it anyway. So, a um, couple other things I saw that were really cool were there were a lot of massive t shirts that had like team names, uh, area names, wherever they were from. It was really cool. And you had unique names, and then I guess you'd say you had guys that had uh, specialized jerseys that were made. It was really cool. I uh, thought they were really, really awesomely thought through. Um, and you see a bunch of families and a bunch of kids, which was really awesome. All right, so let's see what's around us in this small town. Uh, Drifloom. Um, so with that, we'll take a look at some of the shinies that I got while I was there. Like I said, I started off and I got a mischievous and I ended up getting uh, getting this really early on, like the first probably good 45 minutes to an hour in. Um, so I decided, obviously, when you when you when you have start having good luck, you're like, oh, I'll just keep playing. So about an hour later, I got my first Wilmer in downtown Chicago, uh, which is really cool. Obviously, the Chicago tag. Third was a Sableye, which I had never caught. I had traded for one before, but I had never caught one in the wild. And I don't care what anybody says, seeing those stars, seeing that sparkle when you click a shiny makes it all worthwhile. That was number three. 
Number four was something else that I, I had one from before, but I I didn't have a male. I had a female. So uh, got a male Snorunt, which is number four. Number five was the Gold Nugget himself, Geodude, which is uh, I'd caught one before. I'd actually traded for one before, but now I have enough to make all three evolutions of that family. So I like that. Uh, I got this one's already named because this is uh, going to be a trade, um, my buddy. So that was the second uh, shiny, second shiny Wilmer. Uh, and the last one that I got was my second shiny Mistrevious just in downtown Chicago. So playing for less than six hours and got seven shinies. Outstanding day. Um, and I noticed that when you when I was standing in Chicago, because I was trying to figure out my way around, I was thinking, well, how do I get to Grant Park? So I decided to walk through. Uh, I had someone I was meeting for a trade. We met for the trade, but it comes to find out that she had already done her five special trades because her pass was for that day. So I was really worried I wasn't gonna get that trade. And it was something I've been planning for, man, since May. Um, so I was really excited about getting one of them. And, and the lady was really, really sorry. Not a big issue for me. It was like, hey, you know, it just doesn't work out. So like I said, she did agree to meet me the next day. So it wasn't a big issue. Um, and we'll talk about that uh, in a later episode. Now, as I'm walking back home, I noticed that there are a bunch of Pokestops. Now, as I'm walking back to my uh, hostel, I noticed that there are a bunch of Pokestops everywhere except for this one long area. And I decided, hey, I will go ahead and, and walk through. I already talked about that, so I delete that. Delete, delete. So as I'm there making that trade, I noticed that when I pulled up my uh, Pokemon Go, there's a huge hole and you can see it from here. Um, and basically you can see that there's no Pokestops there, there's no gems and it was really, really weird. So I kind of knew that that would be where the actual Go Fest was the next day. So what I did was went ahead and planned out my day for the next day and set it up to where I knew where the north and south entrance was, I knew where the biomes were, kind of walked through and looked, kind of spoiled it for myself, but still really cool. So then I just decided to grab some dinner and get some sleep. Uh, I'd already done a pretty good bit of kilometers for that day. Um, matter of fact, I'll show you earlier that week on Monday when the rewards came out for 50K, I did get my spin for this. Uh, that Wednesday, I got my spin, my seven day spin. So it was really cool that I ended up getting uh, 76,500 dust for walking over 50K. And then the seven day spin, obviously, uh, it's nice to get some extra stuff. So, and that kind of summed up Thursday. So we'll talk about how excited and how great the event was for Pokemon Go Fest 2019. Uh, I'll catch you in the next episode.